Okay, way too many people get this wrong. My name is Greg, you're watching How to Play Paintball. All right guys, so before we get started, I wanna say a huge thank you to comppaintball.com for sponsoring this video. Be sure to go over to comppaintball.com and if you use the code how to play paintball, which is all lowercase uh, and all together, you're gonna to get 10% off your order. So be sure to go over there. So what I wanted to go over today uh, was basically how to bunker someone properly. A lot of times players do this incorrectly and it's something that is a very easy fix and you're gonna probably be able to stay alive and shoot some more people. So you're gonna look a lot better, right? So I wanted to go over that. So the first thing is when you're actually coming up to the bunker. So as I'm coming up to the bunker, let's say there's someone behind this bunker here. As I'm coming up, a couple feet before the bunker, I'm gonna be deciding what side do I wanna go and bunker this guy on. So preferably you want it to be the, the opposite side of where he's shooting, uh, so that way you have a higher chance of staying alive, but sometimes they're posted and you, you don't really know what side it is that they're they're shooting on. But if it's in a spot that, you, like maybe the center of the field or like 50 snake or something like that, where you just need to get this guy out, it's not the worst thing to trade with someone. So that being said, let's say I'm coming up and I decide I want to come over on this side of the bunker to come and bunker him. A big mistake that a lot of players make is they start coming out real wide and they try to come out this way to shoot the guy. The downside with this is let's say that I'm this player. So let's say that I'm here and I see you come. I just have to go like this and now I've shot you and I'm still alive. I'm going to be able to roll off and kill you and then you're not going to be able to do anything. So you're not going to be effective. The way that you solve this is as you come up to come and bunker the guy, basically want it to be that you're rubbing the vinyl of the bunker and coming right up into their face. Now, when you're in their face, if you have your gun like this, it's gonna be really hard for them to uh, either spin, if you shoot them in the back of the head, or you're gonna have a really good chance of coming around shooting and then taking his bunker, and now it's a, a lot less of a chance that he's gonna shoot you. So this is something that is, is gonna be helping you out a lot when you're actually playing. So again, you don't wanna come out super wide because if I'm this guy, if I'm here and I'm tucked in, all I have to do is just roll off a little bit and I'm able to shoot you and stay alive. Whereas if I come straight at the bunker and you decide, let's say you're shooting this way, coming up, you wanna rub against the bunker and actually be able to shoot the guy and uh, make sure that you actually get that kill. And then you can take his spot. You don't necessarily have to keep running. A lot of guys, what they do is they just kind of keep going instead of thinking about it. So let's say that you're in a snake or even the Dorito side, look to see where's the next bunker that maybe I can slide into or can I just take his spot? Because if I come over and I shoot him and I come back and then someone comes and trades with me, I took two bodies with me. I did my job. Uh, I'm helping out my team. So it's not necessarily a bad thing if you shoot a guy and then they come and trade with you because you should hopefully still be up a body or two. All right, so again, if I come out wide, I want you guys to see this. If I come out wide, you can already see where I'm gonna be coming from. Now, if I come straight at the bunker and I come here, it's gonna be a lot harder for you to shoot me if I come around this way. So I'm hoping that you can see that difference there. So again, if I come out wide and I try to shoot you, I have a lot more that I can get shot. All you have to do is kind of roll off a little bit and you can shoot that guy. All he has to do is push into the bunker a little bit and he's probably gonna be safe. Whereas if I come straight out the bunker and I come here, it's gonna be a lot harder for you to react and a lot harder for that player to, to try to shoot me. I might have the chance coming around, shooting him, and now I have his spot. So if someone else tries to come get me, or maybe I'm in a good spot and someone tries to fill out and then I shoot someone else, you might be able to get a couple a couple kills out of this. All right, so again, guys, uh, thank you for watching, first of all. Uh, we're really close to 9,000 subscribers, and that's crazy. So I thank you so much for that. Uh, it's really cool to be able to see this channel grow. Uh, and again, it was great meeting you guys in Philly, uh, but I also wanted to say a quick thank you again to comppaintball.com for sponsoring this video. Please, guys, go support those that support us. Go to comppaintball.com and use how to play paintball, all lowercase and all together. You'll be able to get 10% off your order. But with this bunkering stuff, this is something that a lot of people get wrong. And the thing is, is that you might make the move at the perfect time, but because you come out wide, now that guy is able to just kind of roll off, shoot you. And that perfect move that you had now became useless and you threw your body away. This way, if you come straight at them, they have a lot less time to react as well as not being able to, even if they try to roll off, you're probably gonna be able to get him at least. So even if it's a trade, if they're in a spot like, let's say a 50, 
uh, like a 50 spot, let's say it's somewhere that they're able to shoot a lot of people. So if you end up shooting each other, where basically, you know, you trade with each other, it's not the end of the world, especially if you're up bodies still, or you're even with bodies, because you're saving two or three other bodies on the other side of the field. So sometimes it is a good thing to actually go and eliminate that player. So again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you to uh, the teams for letting me jump in and kind of just mess around today. Uh, if you guys have any future things that you'd like to see, please put it down in the comments down below. But I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. But as always, remember, watch, learn, win. Thanks.